So if you're spray painting an object, one of the most difficult things to deal with is when the spray paint runs, when there's little drips. So I suggest that the first thing you do is you practice spray painting straight lines, even lines on a piece of poster board or whatever with your spray can. Once you can do even lines, you're ready to paint a frame or an object. Now you want to do even lines and you want to do light lines. You don't want to spray heavy. You want to do just a light coat and let it dry and then do another light coat and let it dry. That's the way to paint something and not get any drips. So here I did a light coat of black and then I'm doing another light coat on top of it to change the color of just this frame that I got in a thrift shop to a black frame. Now that's if you're painting something flat, but what if you're painting something that is uh, more three-dimensional? Well, it's basically the same thing. A light coat, let it dry and do another light coat. Now if you by accident make a mistake, and I'm gonna make a mistake on purpose here so you can see what happens. There are a couple of tricks that you can use to repair the spray paint run. So here I'm doing a nice light coat, but I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna spray a big splotch right there, and it's gonna drip. Now, this is water-based paint. So I just took a little bit of water in a spray bottle and sprayed it on the area where I sprayed too much paint, and that spreads the paint out and removes the drip. Now you have to watch that it doesn't get to it and start to drip elsewhere. <laughs> but if you want to spread out your paint, you can do that with a little transparent color of the same brand of paint that you're using, or if you're using water-based, a uh, little water. You can also wait till it dries and then with some sandpaper, sand it, and then do another layer on top. Or you can choose to use your spray paint drips creatively. If you spray a lot of paint, you can dilute it with transparent color with water and then spray a transparent color on top like this and you can get some beautiful galactic effects that way. So spray paint runs have their advantages if you know how to use them. So I hope you've enjoyed this little talk about what to do if you're paint drips and how to stop it from dripping and ways to use those drips. If you're curious about spray paint art and the very cool things you can do with spray cans or with an airbrush, go to spraypaintartsecrets.com to learn more or airbrushpaintingsecrets.com to learn more about doing all of these effects with your airbrush.